First, to set up the Chime Pro, in the Ring app you'll need to select this icon in the top left, choose Set up a device, select Chimes, now you'll need to scan the QR code. There is a QR code on the Ring Chime itself, but it's also printed on the instructions that come with your Ring Chime, right under my thumb here, so I'll scan that instead. Now confirm the location of the Chime Pro, which is my home's address. Then it recommended that I plug the Chime Pro in halfway between my Wi-Fi router and Ring camera, so I moved it to a different outlet. I'll name my Chime Pro Hallway, and mine is already plugged in. We'll connect it to my Wi-Fi. The light is flashing green. We'll connect to Ring's temporary Wi-Fi network. Then I'll connect the Chime Pro to my home's Wi-Fi network. After about 30 seconds, it now says that the Chime Pro is set up. But then it did take a little while to do an update. Now that that's finished, I'll use the Chime Pro to strengthen the Wi-Fi connection to my Ring camera that's near my front door. Because that camera has a weak connection. So in the Ring app, I've selected my Chime Pro under the Devices menu. I'll select Chime Pro Network. I'll select my front door camera. It tells me that I'm currently connected to my home's Wi-Fi. So I'll select Switch to Chime Pro Network and connect to Chime Pro. I am near the camera. The light on the camera is flashing blue. And now my front door camera is connected to the Chime Pro's network instead of my home's Wi-Fi. So when I did this, my camera's RSSI went from minus 68 to minus 61, which is an improvement, but not good enough. This was with the Chime Pro being located halfway between the camera and my Wi-Fi router, which is what Ring suggested. So I plugged my Chime Pro into an outlet that's in my front room. This roughly put the Chime Pro about three quarters of the way from the Wi-Fi router and only one quarter of the way from my front door camera. When I did this, my RSSI changed to minus 41, which is a very good improvement. So I would recommend that you move your Chime Pro around to get the best signal. And yes, you can connect multiple cameras to your Chime Pro. And also, according to Ring, you can have multiple Chime Pros. For instance, if one of my cameras in the backyard had a weak signal, I could buy another Chime Pro and plug it in somewhere at the very back of the house. The reason I wouldn't want to connect a backyard camera to this Chime Pro in the front of the house is because the backyard camera would be so far away from it that its Wi-Fi signal would actually be made worse. These are the Chime Pro settings. There's a nightlight that can be turned on or off. Similar to the cameras, you can snooze all alerts from your Chime Pro. Under device health, among other things, it shows the signal strength, or RSSI, of the devices that you have connected to your Chime Pro. We looked at Chime Pro Network earlier. That allows you to connect your devices to the Chime Pro. Under audio settings and Chime alerts, if you want any of your cameras to sound an alert through the Chime Pro speaker, whenever they detect motion, you can toggle that on or off for each individual camera. And under Chime tones, you can choose the sound of that alert, and there's plenty to choose from, as well as adjust the volume for the alert. And under general settings, you can turn the status light on or off. The Chime Pro is a little big. Here it is for comparison next to some US currency. And to answer a question others have asked, as of right now, according to Ring, if you have a Ring alarm system, the Chime Pro will not play a siren if your alarm system gets set off. And if you're wondering what's different between the regular Chime versus the Chime Pro, here's Ring's answer to that and feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read the full response. I hope this video is helpful. Please consider giving it a like and thank you for watching.